Hey guys, Tarek with Cycling FPV. It is Monday morning, uh, December 14th, and I'm going to do a real quick video for a customer of ours who had a Mobula 7 and could not get it to bind to his free sky, uh, uh, sorry, to his fly sky radio. Okay, so let me go ahead and do a split screen here and show you what we're working with. And I think I'm zoomed in a little too much. So this is a brand new Mobula 7. Uh, come on, I'm, why is it not shrinking? Uh, hold on, bear with me a second, guys. I'm not sure. There we go. All right, let me hit my nice dirty desk it's been kind of nuts here all right so there we go so we've got the brand new Mobula 7 now i've taken the batteries and set them aside and this uh the battery mount set it aside as well because i want to show you what we're looking at here so you've got two buttons on the Mobula 7 right you've got one on the left which is your boot button on the left of the um of the usb and on the right you have your bind button so here's what you're going to do first let's just look at the radio okay so let's go ahead and turn on our radio and we're going to go to hold our ok button down and look at our system click ok and I want to make sure when we go down, we go to RX setup, make sure you have AFHDS 2A, click OK, it should be on. Just cancel out of that, cancel out of that for now, that's all I really want you to do. I want you to turn this off, turn your radio off, hold the bind button down and turn it on. Okay, now it's gonna say it's binding, right? Then what I want you to do is I want you to come over here and I want you to take your USB, for example, and just plug it in to power it up. All right, you're gonna see all the lights blink in, you're gonna hear the noise, but nothing happens yet. And I don't want you to press the bind button yet. Now I want you to go find the bind button, which is the button right to the right of the USB, and I want you to press it. Ready? And then let go. Now it's bound, okay? Now what you're seeing here is you're seeing that the, um, it's beeping because there's no voltage in the, in, the, um, in the setup here, right? So I've got no batteries plugged in. So let me just go to Betaflight real quick. I guess I can see if these batteries came with any charge to shut this up, so hold on one second. Let me just see. There's one. I don't think it's going to, but let's just see. Okay, there we go. So we've got the batteries in, so we did get it to stop. And now let me just show you on Betaflight uh, so that we're good. When you log into Betaflight, you click Connect. Uh, we're going to reset, Calibre. I'm not worried about this really. But I do want to go to receiver, and now you can see I have stick movement, and everything's good to go. All right? So, look, I know there's a way to try to bind through Betaflight using the CLI. Just follow this method here. This usually gets past any problems you might be having. If you do have any questions, check out our Facebook groups right here. And then, as always, please follow us on Facebook. And more importantly, also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Your support by subscribing is all I ask for. Okay, guys? Anyways, other than that, God bless. Be safe. I hope that answers any questions. And, uh... Enjoy the weather. It's kind of freezing out here right now. I'm sure it's snowing in some places as well. But y'all be careful. Fly safe. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye.